Hi Capricorns, welcome to your reading. Guys, let's see what's going on with your connection this week. Let's find out what your person is feeling and desiring towards you this week. We're only doing it for a week's time frame, guys, okay? Oh, I will have that time put into the title also. But let's find out how they're viewing you, how their perception of you is. What are they reading about your energy? Uh, any behaviors or actions they're going to take towards you. Let's find out if there's any tension or shadow energy lurking in, lurking in the dark when it comes to our connection. <laughs> this is for my Capricorns. My Capricorns. And y'all know this is Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The signs, wherever you have a placement that fits for you for Capricorn. It's for my Capricorns. I can't sling the deck, guys, so y'all give me a minute to get the energies on it. The cardstock on this deck is awesome. It's really thick, though, so it means I can't sling them the way I normally do. This is for my Capricorn, their person. What's going on with their person? Their desires, their thoughts, their actions, behaviors, perception. Right there, guys, right there. Desires and feelings towards you this week. They're retreated a little bit. Yeah, they're getting some clarity on something. So, yeah. Mm, their perception of you. How they're seeing you. Mm, your, your feelings are hurt. Wow. Mm -hmm. Behavior towards you this week. Love. 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 Can we can we get this love back? Uh -huh. Actions they may be taking towards you. Look at the aces, guys. Look at the aces. Bottom of the deck, we've got a four of wands. I'm here. I want to support you. Let's level up. Let's don't give up. We're stable. That kind of thing. So, yeah. It is showing us uh, where we've been in something committed. You know, a committed relationship where we're... We're there for each other, but something's went on, and we've got some heartache. Let's find out a little bit more. I want to clarify, therefore, swords. What is that about? Got a three of cups energy. Eight of swords. And then three of pentacles. Mm. Guys, this is almost like saying somebody actually is recovering from something that, that took them down for a minute. With that four swords, y'all know that's rest, recuperation, uh, recovery from things. It's, you know, just to, to withdraw when, you know, when you get sick, you go private. You don't feel like being around a lot of people and stuff. Somebody is recovered because this is saying that it's a celebration. It's a time of celebration. Um, they are no longer restrict. you know. Feeling restricted and yeah, let's let's get up and 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 get active. The plan of things. Let's focus in on where where we're going from here after recovery. Ooh, let's see your while they see you standing in that three of swords. That little bit of heartbreak. Options are overwhelm, emotional overwhelm. A four of cups, nine of pentacles, feeling like you've been doing it on your own. And sun card, look, look, even though you've had some heartbreak and it may actually be this person was, like I said, something happened. They were down and out where they had an accident, where they just got sick or yeah, um, it, that three of swords is showing our heartache, our hurt, our pain over it. And also showing us being emotionally over, overwhelmed and, you know, constantly standing and thinking of the worst. And um, the four of cups, I, I really think uh, we, we were stressed. They seem to be thinking we were stressed and not seeing how they were recovering. Because we were stressed out. Because it's got us uh, thinking we're by ourselves. Got to figure it out by myself. Yeah, I've got to be strong here. Figure it out by myself. And then all of a sudden we've got the sun card. It's like them saying, oh, you're going to be so happy. 
You're going to be so happy because they're, they're bouncing back. They're up and getting active. They're no longer restricted on something. You know, the Eight of Swords. No wonder we've got the Aces over here. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. But their behavior is love. They, they feel blessed. Oh, yeah, they're ready to invest some time and energy. The card of charity. It's like saying, I want to give back to everybody that's gave to me. Let's come in on that pentacle. Oh, yeah, they're ready. They're ready. Eight, eight of pentacles. Let's pick up where we left off. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a good week, guys. All the way around. Not just... Not just for you, but I mean for your, for both of you, especially your person uh, coming out of that four of swords. Anything crossing that? Oh uh, yeah, uh, what's crossing the energy this week is person felt a little defeated, mm -hmm. like they've been through a battle. But the one thing about a five of swords is taking back your power, taking it back, taking back. I'm feeling better. I don't feel as cut down. So yeah. But they may, uh, it may show them in um, the process this, oh yeah, look, magician flipped over while I was trying to talk. Uh, it may show them um, mentally or emotionally trying to overdo and fatiguing their self. I don't know how else to put that. So yeah, just, just like a burst of energy and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, maybe I'm not as recovered as I and rested up as much as I thought I would be because they are definitely trying to manifest a whole lot at one time. Handle a whole lot at one time. So yeah, feeling more empowered where they felt so restricted before and disempowered. Mm. Let's see the strength of this connection. The energy, the overall supportive energy in this connection. For my Capricorns, that person. Ooh, pop. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Getting through the hard times. Look at this. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Always being able to get through the hard times, sticking together, that kind of thing. Having each other's back. Mm. That's 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 good because this is showing we we have our goals, ambitions, our desires in sync with each other. We get each other and where we're wanting. What we're wanting in our lives. So, yeah. <clears throat> See, tension. Any tension this week. Star card. Rebuilding faith and hope. And starting it. No real tension, guys. But this is uh, starting new, new ideas. Uh, getting things going back again with that Page of Swords. Uh, page of Swords is also like new, fresh ideas. New positive messages of recovery we got this coming back uh, look bottom of the deck lovers card devotion and dedication to this but faith is renewed this week i don't see really see any tensions the only thing that i would point out uh, this week is this person's gung-ho full of energy but may wear their self down quick. So, yeah. Uh, so, and that's really not an issue. Uh, it's just, it, it's just like a sense of excitement, a sense of relief, maybe on your part, because it's like a taking a deep breath from this three of swords into a sun of, oh yeah, it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Ooh, okay, Capricorns. Let's go ahead and, and see if your person wants to put some energy on a deck and give you a message. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. We're going to split the deck because y'all know my hands ain't that big. They're big, but not that big. For my Capricorns, my Capricorns, their person. We are on time. We are on time. Everything's okay. We are on time. What else? What else? Ooh, pop. I'm having trouble forgiving myself. Ooh, forgiving their self. 
Gee, maybe that's that's one of the issues we deal with this week. When you feel like, you know, something that's not really your fault is your fault. <laughs> yeah. What else? Your words still linger. Anything else? I'm thinking about you this very moment. Let's go ahead and switch text here. It's from a Capricorn. What else? You've changed my world for the better. I'm not ready for us yet. Not ready for us yet. What are they not ready for, guys? Let's see. Let's focus in on that. What's the next card? I'm not ready for us yet. I'm healing old traumas. Five of Swords. Anything else you want to say? Mm -hmm. There's so much I wish I could say. Mm. So, yeah. Bottom of the deck. I'm holding space for you. Holding space for you. Because maybe you held space for me. Oh, wait. I'm holding space for you. I'm experiencing the dark night of the soul. I feel you here with me. Oh, Capricorns. Guys, I hope it was helpful. Y'all stay blessed.